weather. Sometimes it just doesn't play ball, and this can lead to lighting conditions that are best described as less than favourable. Even with the best composition and kit, coming home from a shoot with boring skies in your landscapes can not only be deflating, but can also affect the picture's value if you intend to place it on a stock library. So what can you do? Well, don't click and drag that image to the recycling bin just yet, as thanks to the power of Affinity Photo 2, you can rescue the image by replacing the sky for an alternative version making more use of potential donor files and breathing new life into your lacklustre landscapes. What's really special about this technique is the finesse and accuracy of Affinity Photo 2 selection tools, enabling you to make the replacement sky slip in seamlessly so no potential buyers from the stock library would ever know the difference. So how does this technique come together? Well, with both your landscape image and your donor image open in Affinity Photo 2, Make sure your layers panel is visible and then head up to the top of the interface, select file and scroll down to place. When the dialog box appears, select your donor image and click open. You can now drag out the donor image and to make this easier, you can click on the magnet option for snapping. Drag it out and there we go, it will appear in your layers panel. Now, I'm just going to place this more on the horizon to make life easier. So there we go. Once that's done, head back to the layers panel and deselect the layer so you can't see it anymore. So turn off its visibility and select the background image. Now, we need to select this sky. So head over to the toolbar and click on the selection brush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for the selection brush tool is W. You can change the size of this brush using the square bracket keys. So draw out the sky and it will quickly become selected. Now, you can refine your selection by zooming in using the Apple or Command and Plus keys and clicking on the Refine option at the top of the interface. You'll see everything red hasn't been selected, so you can zoom in and if there's a little area that you've missed out, just brush over it again and the selection will pick it up. Once you're happy with that, click on the apply button. Okay, let's zoom out to get a better look. So what we're going to do now is turn our sky layer back on, select it and click on the toggle option. And then we're going to head down to the mask option at the bottom of the layers panel, which is identified by a circle within a square. Click on this and the mask will be applied. Now, one little problem we've got so far is that actually the sky looks just a bit too intense and doesn't really match between this foreground and the rest of the scene. So what I'm going to do is select this layer and I'm going to turn down the opacity. Now, for my image, a percentage of around 65% should work well and give it quite a neutral pastel effect. But obviously for your image, this opacity level may be different. That looks a lot more natural now. But the problem we've got is that the foreground still doesn't quite match up. So I'm gonna select the background image, head down to the adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle, click on it and select white balance. Now, when this dialog box appears, I'm gonna drag the slider to the right just to warm up this foreground a little so that it matches with the uh, new replacement sky. I don't want to take it too far as that will ruin the effect but I think that balances out quite nicely. So let's just take a look at how this image has progressed. So this is what we started with. A nice scene but a fairly flat image and a horrible sky let's be honest. So we've added the new sky in and we've also tweaked the foreground completely transformed the look of this image in just a couple of minutes. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Have fun replacing the sky in your landscape images, and I'll see you next time.